I'm Olivia Mando. I'm from Barcelona and I'm an activist for the planet. Today I'm going to read my third letter to the Earth on its 50th anniversary. Dear Earth, today is your day, which should be always your day. Every day during our home confinement, I feel you. I feel you coming back to life. But today, that feeling is even stronger. Because today is your day. Today, the whole world should listen and hear you. I look out my window and I can feel the dolphins happily jumping in the sea. I feel that thanks to our confinement and never-ending rain over the last past weeks, you are happier than ever healthier and more alive. Through my window, I can also feel the animals reclaiming territory that we had taken from them. I feel, for example, the lion in South Africa, lounging around on previously otherwise terrible and heavily trafficked highways built by us, humans, without asking permission or giving an ounce of gratitude. I feel the wild horses in the Sierra Nevada and living things all over the world looking at us with a sincere look in their eyes and asking us, do you see what is happening? Finally, we will take the time to reflect on the damage you've done. Despite all of this, I am happy and satisfied with how many people are doing their part like my family and me, day after day to try to heal you and save you. There are many good things happening during this human confinement, but also many things that are not. Such as the increase of seemingly used plastic and how much of it is littering streets and how little is being recycled. This can't be. I am not happy about this. I imagine that you aren't either. Even during confinement, we shouldn't stop recycling and or be using more plastic than we ever used before. We're coming back to life. And if you come back, we will all be safe from a horrible and miserable future. Today is your day, and we should listen to you and feel you. Although your day should be every day, Earth Day should be every day. Dear Earth, I hear your call and I'm ready to act now.